Well, guys, we have a treat that may have just arrived. I don't even want to tell you guys what it is because I'm f***ing geeking myself. So, obviously, I want to show you guys as you see it when I see it. This is epic. Are you ready for this? Yes, man. Why are you standing under the street? Because I want to see open up and I want to f***ing see in my face. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen Yasuka smile this much ever. Yeah. Ever, period. Ever? Ever. No, I smile all the time. You smile all the time, but not this much. Well. You've been smiling nonstop <laughs> since the door opened. One of 44. Okay, so as a lot of you guys know, I'm the R33 whisperer here. Everybody else likes R32s. This is truly the holy grail as far as R33 GTRs go. Aside from one other car, which there's only a one of one, which is remaining in Nissan's care. But there's 44 of these, and we now have one of them here. arches as you can see front and rear rear on the back of these oh man oh. 400 r steering wheel and as you can see it's pretty much a regular gtr in the interior minus the steering wheel shifter knob and stuff like that and of course the nispo spec seats oh. So of course, like I said, I am really geeking. This is super awesome. This to me is the best JDM rarity ever as the 400R was always my favorite car, which led me into loving the 33. But that is a unicorn. I mean, man, I, if you would have asked a younger Steve if I ever would see a 400R in person, I would have told you no. Um, there's only 44 of these made. We now have one here. 
Um, I actually don't know what chassis number this is, but I will find out. And I mean, look, I touched it. I touched it. So yeah, JDM royalty sitting right here, top rank importers, and I am geeking out. This is so cool. Oh, I'm sure you guys are gonna see more of this, so definitely stay tuned. Um, obviously, this is a big deal, so we're gonna see some cool stuff with it. And uh, yeah. <laughs> well, now that my excitement has kind of simmered down a little bit, I'm gonna give you guys a quick walkthrough through the first 400R imported into the US. I'm just geeking right now, because like I said, this is my favorite car. This is the car that truly was the Gran Turismo car for me, which is why I like the 33, excited the Exhibitor Mini car. And to see one of these, I never thought I'd see one in person. Really, like, never thought I did. I have the wheels from a 400R on my Z because they were my favorite wheels, again, because of the 400R. So seeing one in person is super dope, and I'm gonna get to show you guys some quick details. Man, <laughs> I just can't believe this thing is physically here and is real. Like, everybody always talks about what it's like to work at top rank, and it's, well, it's a little bit like Gran Turismo. You get some amazing cars here. But this is the real life Gran Turismo. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, this is so beautiful. Walking from the front of the car back, let's just cover the front. So you have the 400R bumper, 400R bumper with the signals turned in here instead of like the regular GTRs that have these signals like that. These are actually built into the bumper. You have the carbon air guide for the intercooler, and of course the lower section of the lip, the in-one ducting for the bumper, 400R specific badge. And then of course the big thing up top is the carbon hood with the vents. As you can see, it's even carbon deep into here. Oh man, honestly, I think this is the best hood for the 33. Um, I don't know if there's an exact or even close to quality build replica hood for the car, but definitely gonna try to find one <laughs> for when I build my R. And then of course, you have the over fender extensions here, the over fender arcs, and the sticker is put on, then these are put on. The amazing LMGT1 wheels. Three piece wheel, barrel, lip and face, uh, built by Ray's, forged, super dope. I've got these on the Nismo, uh, but these are the 18 by 10 plus 20 all the way around, uh, which is super, you know, 400 are specific. So badging going down the line, you have the 400 are side skirts going down, of course, to the 400 are decal all the way in the back here. Again, rear arches. This car's cool as the carbon 400 are overlay here, as well as the carbon spoiler. These are the Nismo carbon fiber overlays for the tail lights, which are super rear. Again, another 400 are badge in the back. Other than that, she's mostly a 33. The big, big difference for here, going into the car, again, stock interior, you notice these are a little bit nicer here. You have the Nismo cluster, so Nismo cluster right here, and then zooming out, you have the Nismo 400R steering wheel with the button, and then Nismo shift knob, and then other than that, pretty much a regular 33, aside from, of course, the Nismo branded seats that are in the car. Now to give you guys a real treat. The big key thing about the R33 and 400R was the heart, which popping the carbon bonnet is the legendary RBX GT2. Tell me that was not perfect. So this car, you have Nismo intercooler here, Nismo radiator, as you can see by the old Nismo logo on the radiator, old Nismo radio oil cap, of course, the awesome Nismo Plenum. Um, a lot of people don't know this. On the RB26s, the number six cylinder starts for air. The Nismo Plenum has a little bump at the end that is supposed to feed more air into the number six cylinder to save from uh, leaning out, I guess you could say. Uh, the other one here, of course, we have the titanium Nismo strut bar here. And then, of course, this car has the stock air box in it, but this one has been upgraded with R35 mass, so that's pretty unique. So, gaining 200, or, what is that, 20 cc of displacement, this was slightly bored out, um, making 400 horsepower, like, I think, 350 torque, 
Uh, they were supposed to make 100 of these. They only made 44. Well, guys, here we are. <laughs> A real 400R that I can... Watch this. Watch, watch, watch. Touch. <laughs> this is insane. Like... I don't know what your guys' favorite car is, but this is this has been my absolute obsession for years, and I never thought I'd see one. Like I just I don't even know what to say other than just fuck out, man. I'm gonna hit you guys with some B-roll right here. Super excited! You weren't here, so I had to send a picture to the group. I know, I saw, I, I, I posted it, and Brian was like, "When are we gonna start telling people about this?" Because he's like, "Everybody's talking about it," and I was like, "Well, I've been waiting forever, so I felt like, you know, because we, we had this car for a few months, right?" So, speaking of things that I need to do, I need to. Uh, Plate. Nobody thought about this yesterday. I guess we were all in shock, so. Yeah, well, that's the, 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 uh... This man has a utility tool on him at all times. I have two at all times. Yeah. Yep. Official like was... I'm gonna do one on the back, too. We do. So obviously, you know, the numbers were supposedly 44, 400 R's, although, you know, at least on GTR registry, Mark's come up with 40. I believe 40 would probably be the real number. 44, you know, maybe it's just a slight exaggeration based on, Until you know, see a car 44 black or something. yeah, basically. So I, I would say 40 is the real number. Um, I don't know if we're really saying which number this one is. We're kind of leaving it, leave, we're sort of leaving it out there. Um, but uh, it is an actual car. It is our unicorn, right? So we looked for one. We went looking for one last uh, earlier this year, and it was uh, this one wasn't really out on the market, but we managed to buy it. So um, we've had it for three or four months now, maybe, 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 yeah. maybe, maybe about four months. So and then. Um, it's a uh, you know cool car to have, cool car to see. Actually, the first time I saw it was today because yesterday I left a little early, and then I got pictures of it arriving. Yeah, I mean, like, and it has you know R35 math, and it's got R35 coils, I believe, on it. Um, so Nismo. Yeah, Nismo radiator. Yeah, radiator, intercooler, Laminova, also you know oil cooler basically. So um, you know boost control, a couple other things. The uh, hey, look, it's the same short tower bar we had. Yeah, so I need one for the, my 33. <laughs> <laughs> so, the next one. but you know, overall, it's a, it's a cool car to have. Um, but like I said, as far as we know, it's the only one in the U.S. Um, you know, there's not that many of them even out in the world. You know, the guys who know know um, most of all the owners are within contact with each other. Actually, I was talking to one of the guys from the UK this morning because he was asking me a bunch of questions about it. So, and I was giving ambiguous a answers, sorry. I wonder, so. if he, I wonder if he's the guy who has the purple one. Because uh, there's blue. the purple one that was in Evo, Evo blue. Magazine did a video on it. Um, I'm pretty sure Sully's is blue. 
Oh, so, okay. Um, guy in the UK. He has a he has a bunch of cool cars. So, all right. Four hundred R. Four hundred R. Yep. You know, it's crazy seeing these wheels like this. Right. Because if you look at the catalog for the four hundred R, the yellow car, polished lip, and right. then you'll see other cars polished lips, but then occasionally you'll see them with the white painted lips. Right. So I don't know. If somebody did it, or if it, yeah, I yeah, mean, I don't know if it was like a styling thing. It was like an option, but I mean, you, you never know. In 25 years, you know, there's there's tons of stuff that happens. It only takes you know a couple days to to paint some wheels. So yeah, um, you know, it's uh, and then you know, some people said like the 400 R seats had like metal circles on metal metal adjusters, and I was like, okay, it doesn't have that. So. You know, but these are, you know, the seats are really nice condition. Like the other ones, you know, that I've had, I've seen, they're always, almost always, this sort of wears out a bit. Yeah. So, you know, but they're with the red stitching and all that stuff. So, you know, what I had in my other car. Uh, 31,000 kilometers. So, like, uh, what, 18, uh, just like 20,000 miles, something like that. So. So, Sean is now under the dash of the 400R, checking it out thoroughly. I don't think anybody checks out detail checks out GTRs, especially as thoroughly as Sean Morris does. But he's definitely he's definitely going through the car right now. But um, man, I literally woke up at like three in the morning, played video games, bought like four 400Rs and painted them different colors, and then to come in today. And realize it's real. I could touch it. Touch it. Oh. Man. Well, guys, the vlogs are coming back. I've just been busy with work, but this was too awesome not to share with you guys. I'm genuinely losing my freaking mind and I don't know how I'm gonna sleep tonight because this is just I don't even know what to say this is just insane so hope you guys like it the videos are coming back more photos are coming we're revamping behind the wheel so it's all coming to you guys until then turn miles into smiles make sure you hit the subscribe button and of course man <laughs> this is everything man <laughs>